Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Justin and welcome back to a brand new video where today the V6.30 patch notes for Fortnite have finally released and first off as you see, we have a brand new LTM, which is called Food Fight, which pits the Tomato Heads versus the Dur Burgers in an all-out battle to claim the rightful restaurant of the map, or something along those lines. So, um, um, we also have the mounted turret, of course, along with again the, uh, the, uh, the along with the Food Fight LTM, which actually has a trailer for it. So let's watch this bad boy, react to it, and then keep going along with the notes. Two entrees. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so sick. Every skin's got a tomato head or a Durburger head. Okay, 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 Epic, I see you, I see you. Really pitting like the community driven lore all into it, man. That's actually, that's so cool. So one wall, two entrees, the food fight has begun. Build your base, wait for the barrier to drop and then battle it out in this all new LTM and then claim your preferred team on social channels. So hashtag team burger or hashtag team pizza. Make sure you guys comment down what team you are in the comment section. And of course, subscribe and ring those bells, guys. Don't forget that. Okay, finally down to the actual battle royale side of things. So of course we have the LTM, which is food fight. In terms of the mode details, we have that uh, barrier being spawned in the middle of the map for the first several minutes. Uh, each team has an under an under construction restaurant uh, near the center of the map and inside is a giant mascot head representing that team. And if you lose your mascot head, you lose the match. So that's going to be a, a very interesting dynamic to the game mode, something that we have not seen as of yet in the game. So I'm definitely going to get some gameplay of this for you guys. So again, make sure you are subscribed as we keep going. Teams should use that time that the barrier is up to construct a defensive fortress around their restaurants. Um, as soon as the barrier lowers, you fight to destroy their mascots, and you have special red supply drops that spawn them. They hold weapons, ammo, consumables, traps, and a few hundred metal building materials. Okay, you really want those. Um, um, players respawn after seven seconds when eliminated, but they also keep their inventory. Um, uh, let's see, E-limited players spawn a percentage of their ammo upon elimination, as well as 30, 30, 60 wood, stone, metal, respectively. That's gonna, that's actually super nice. We should have had that in Disco Dom. 100% um, extra resources are, wow, re okay, that's uh, insane. Building resources found in the ground increase from 20 to 50, and of course, no explosive weapons or items are in this mode. We just watched a trailer that showed RPGs. Whatever though. Bug fixes for playground mode. Porta challenges no longer spawn below terrain. I never have done really done those. Uh, in terms of weapons and items, of course we have the brand new mounted turret added, which is a legendary. It is found in floor loot. That okay. Supply drops, vending machines, and supply llamas. It has unlimited ammo, but will overheat if fired too often. It can only be placed on floors. You damage the mounted turret by shooting it directly or destroying the structure it is on. Uh, the floor piece it is placed on is invulnerable. Okay. Once placed, it can be used by any player regardless of team affiliation. Moving on from that, when a vehicle passenger uses a grappler, the movement has been smoothed out by retaining more vehicle momentum. They are really trying to really get that get that perfect right there. They keep you know messing with it more and more. And pickaxe damage. Uh, whoa, whoa. Pickaxe damage against players has been increased from 10 to 20. I really did not expect that. That's a crazy difference. That's actually insane right there. That's going to be interesting. I'll tell you that much. In terms of bug fixes, they have adjusted the assault rifle to where when you're shooting and you're aiming down sight, it is no longer going to obstruct your reticle when you're firing, which is actually really good. Um, uh, balloons now have proper audio and visual effects if several are popped simultaneously. 
This one is awesome. They have fixed an issue in which players could take damage when leaving a quad crasher while using balloons. Thank you, Epic Games. Um, and they fixed quad crashers being movable by walking into them. Moving into the actual gameplay side of things, they have increased the spawn rate of quad crashers to 100% from 50. That's insane. They have moved around some things with the gamepad bindings, um, um, emoting, bandaging, using shields, and other movement cancelable actions can now be used while affected by chillers. That's actually really really good and um, damage numbers will now show up on the starting island but you will not go below one health shaking will not play when you're getting hits and no quest progress will be gained for damage done in the warm-up lobby uh, of course when you're firing short bursts of fully auto guns like the smg they have better handling for that so tracers and firing sounds will be more consistent which is always good and they've done they've done some nintendo switch things um, and then they've messed around with the time a player is in the down but not out state so um that has been increased from 50 seconds to 60 seconds. So if your player or if your teammate is downed, you have a bit more time to actually go get them, which is always good. They have messed around with the glider redeploy, so we'll now only activate the glider. Uh, skydiving will no longer be available when using the glider redeploy. Uh, the skydiving state will still be activated when jumping from the bus, launch pads, rifts, things like that. And if you're skydiving from a launch pad or a rift, the force glider deploy high has been raised from 15.5 meters um, to 35 meters, which is definitely a good change. Um, as always, they have a few bug fixes. And again, as always, I've never experienced these because I don't know. I guess I never get bugs. Um, um, they have added some new stuff to events, which is just a lot of stuff going down. So make sure you guys read that if you want to. Um, the main takeaway from it is that the scavenger pop-up cup is a solo tournament that is brand new. Um, um, pop-up cups are tournaments testing temporary LTMs. Um, so scavenger will test several gameplay adjustments like reduced material limits, faster harvesting, and earning health for elims, which is... Um, I think that's a really good idea. So the material cap will be 500 of each. The harvesting rate has been increased by 40% and players gain a 50 health when eliming an opponent. And if the health is full, they will get that in terms of shield. So uh, that is crazy. I guess they're trying to test to see if this would be something they would want to bring into the regular game. That would be insane, but I mean, it could always be a bad idea too. We, do, we just really don't know them. So of course they have performance updates, audio updates, UI updates, all of those things, but some things to take note of in terms of the audio. They added a hit notification audio when damaging vehicles from a distance. I think that's a really good update. And they added a wind audio cue for players traveling through the air, including yourself. I think that'll be a really good audio update, which is always something to, to be happy about when they add it into the game. And again, we have... Uh, like I said, we have UI updates, art animation updates, replay updates, spectating. Um, the primary quick bar is now visible when spectating a player, which is uh, amazing. To be able to see the quick bar is going to be so, so very nice when spectating players. Um, and we have mobile updates as well. So guys, all of this is, of course, linked in the description. If you want to read it for yourself, feel free to. Um, but that is what we have going. The update should hopefully be out here in a in an hour or so. I will be awake. I will be making videos on all of the new things. So the brand new gun, the brand new LTM, maybe a new skin if we get that. But guys, make sure you are subscribed. Ring those bells to be notified when I upload those videos. Um, if you enjoyed this video in particular, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and of course, share this video around. I would highly appreciate that. But without further ado, I will talk to you all later. I'm going to say, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.